writer, but this is sort of about how I would like to be a designer when I grow up. And my presentation is called Staying Hungry. It comes out of something that we do internally at my agency uh, called the WTF Sessions, which stands for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You think I'm going to swear on stage? What the fuck? Uh, so basically, um, the, the premise here is, uh, I'm calling it Staying Hungry. I'll tell you why a little later. Um, but uh, basically, it's about, it's about a process that I'm going through right now, trying to rethink how writers can work. That's a picture of me um, on the inside. That's what I look like inside. And those are some of the things that I do. Um, I do advertising, I do real journalism, fake journalism, film, and bad jokes on Twitter. A lot of those. <coughs> but yeah, mostly I write stuff. That's kind of what I do for a living. Um, I write bad banner ads. I write uh, boring, long format uh, stuff. I write uh, billboards that you all hate. Um, and I wrote some stuff from Vir for Virgin Mobile that was pretty funny. Um, but what I've been trying to think about lately is what the future of the writer is. And this is the thing. Um, somebody from Kristen Porter Bogoski, which is a big agency, said, we're not, in the advertise we're not in the advertising business. We're not an advertising agency anymore. We're in the business of invention. Copywriters are inventors. And I read that in a book and was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> I've been a writer my whole life. And so I told myself not to panic because I actually realized that there was actually a great opportunity in, um, in starting to think about myself as an inventor, and I've actually been working a lot with the de design team at my agency, and um, and they've been inspiring me to think about things a lot, and that quote was came along at a really good time because I think the designers are really helping me figure that out. Um, so here's an example. When Amazon saw the digital art doing to book publishing what it's done to music and journalism, it didn't create an ad campaign to persuade people to keep buying books, which is the normal thing that advertisers would do and big corporations would do. Instead, what it did is, five, four, three, two, it created the Kindle. It created this whole new platform for reading and for thinking about books in a different way. Um, and we know that it's done pretty well. Um, and that, in fact, you know, the Kindle just, it keeps selling and it keeps, it keeps growing as a category and people are getting more and more comfortable with this thing that everyone said nobody would ever be comfortable with. So it got me thinking, you know, creators and advertisers need to think more like inventors. Inventors need to think like artists and artisans. Artisans and artisans need to think like entrepreneurs. And ultimately, I think entrepreneurs need to think like designers. Wow, I thought that was going to take way too long to read. We got through it, which is really great. These are good jokes, right? These are pretty good jokes. Um, so, yeah, why was this stupid talk called Staying Hungry Again? Um, that's an interesting question. And um, basically... One of the people that has inspired me is actually not in advertising, because nobody in advertising inspires anybody. Um, it's actually a guy named Michael Ruhlman. Um, and uh, I'll tell you about him in a sec, but the thing that you should know about me is that I'm always thinking about food. When I wake up in the morning, I'm like, what's for dinner? And, you know, when someone asks me a question, I say, oh, you know, there's an interesting chef who could answer that, even if it's about, like, particle physics or whatever. Um, so, so I'm always thinking about food, and in fact, so is this guy, and this guy is the aforementioned Michael Ruhlman. Um, Michael Ruhlman uh, was a writer who um, started just as a regular journalist, he, but then he, he decided he was going to do a kind of gonzo book where he would go to the Culinary Institute of America, the CIA that we all actually like, and, um, and learn, to become a, learn to be a chef, and he did that, and then after that, he got his bones and people started respecting him a lot more and he started co-writing books with chefs who maybe aren't the best writers sometimes and so he co-wrote like some of the, the best cookbooks of all time um, a lot of them with uh, with Thomas Keller from uh, French Laundry Ultimate Food Porn, if you don't know these books they're insane, wow that was no 20 cents um, but what he did after that is he, having become a uh, having become a, a writer he, he, he also and became a cook, he started actually creating and selling um, cooking stuff, you know, he started, he started realizing, you know what, there's a, there's a market for this, and he's very active on social media. So he went from making words to making food, he went from making food to selling stuff to make, to make, making food better, from selling stuff to make food better, to inventing and designing stuff to make making food better. So that's, you know, at the end of the day, what we, we can also do is write about that. So it's like a circle that he's, he's created for himself, and you know, that's kind of w what I would love to do, I'd like to be in. Here's a simple invention that he made. It's, it's an offset spoon. The BTS stands for basting, tasting, and the 
shit, I can really long. Um, something else, spooning. Um, uh, but basically, if you, if you make stuff, you value something like that. If you write about stuff, you won't value stuff like that. So, you know, I think that's, that's where you get into a, a circuit again. You know, you think, you write, you learn, you do, you invent, you design, and then you repeat that whole process. And that's kind of where I'm trying to take my work as, a, as a, both an advertising writer and hopefully eventually as a other kind of writer. Um, and I think there's, there's something really to be said for the idea of a writer as an inventor and as a designer. And, and so this is why I say I want to be a designer when I grow up, because we can, we can think and design and invent our way out of or into almost anything, but we can't truly say that about writing. And so for me, the, the whole movement that I'm trying to get into, um, and you know, there's so many examples, I was just mentioning examples of writers that invented stuff like Nike Plus or like um, the, um, the chicken fry, the Burger King product. It's fries made out of chicken. A writer invented that, not some jerk at Burger King. So, you know, I'm moving from I write stuff to five, four, three, two, one. Wow. This is painful. I make stuff. So, um, you know, this is this is just a challenge that I'm throwing out throwing out to people at my agency and people around the world, which is just kind of you know, how do, we st how do we get out of our disciplines and out of our holes? How do we all kind of think more like designers? Because I think, you know, designers have it going on. And that's it. Um, th those are the places to find me. Bloggerton is an anagram of my name. Pantry is the food store that I closed a couple of years ago. And that's my email address. Thank you.